Some theater people say that theater begins with a script, a play script, words pulled together into an interesting story for actors to memorize and perform. If that's the case, then the work of the playwright is where it all begins. Chapter 6 will explore how plays are structured, the different parts of a typical play, and how playwrights write their plays. You'll learn that all good plays, or dramatic literature as we sometimes call it, have conflict, dramatic conflict. And it's the business of the play to resolve this conflict. Does this make sense? Without dramatic conflict, you don't have a play. You'll also learn about something called dunamont. It's a French word, and it's part of the structure of all plays. Dunamont is sometimes mistaken for the climax of the play, the high moment in the action. But it's actually more of a revealing of certain facts in the play that clarifies the plot, or, or plots, because sometimes there's more than one plot in a play. Better to think of Dunamont as the resolution of the conflict and not the climax of the play. We'll also list some great plays and musicals to explore and talk a bit about what motivates playwrights to write plays. <laughs> For me, this area of the subject matter in Chapter 6 is the most interesting. You can't imagine all the things that inspire playwrights to write their plays. Have you ever tried to write a play? Oh yeah, and you'll learn that plays are often published in two forms. Can you guess why? You'll find out, Chapter 6.